Biodynamic Cano Lab 2016 in Lethbridge, Alberta at LCC. And I'm joined by Autumn Barnes. What's going on here today? Uh, well, today we are hosting Cano Lab, which if you haven't heard of it before, Cano Lab is a really fantastic, hands-on, interactive canola agronomy experience. Um, it's, it's a lot of fun. We've got eight sessions. We like to keep Cano Lab sessions pretty small, so we have about 20 people per group going through, and often in the sessions those groups are broken up even further into groups of four or five. We've got a lot of really fantastic instructors here today going on, uh, talking with, with groups about everything from sprayers to insects. We've got tons of live bugs here. We've got, um, we, we're so lucky to have some, such great entomologists here. So we really have a lot of great entomologists. We've got some black leg plants. We've got some sclerotinia. We've got a uh, genetic session where uh, Faye and Barb are showing people how to isolate DNA out of strawberries, which is really fun. That's been one of the favorites, I would say, and something a little bit different for Cano Lab. Murray Hartman is is going through a pot abortion session, talking about plant hormones and how how things, I guess how how weather most mostly, but other things stress canola and why canola aborts pods like it does, which. Um, is actually one of my favorite sessions. I think uh, I saw it a couple of years ago in Edmonton and, and it stayed with me. I'm glad I got to see it again. Um, gosh, what else do we have? There's all sorts of really great sessions. I think there's something here for everybody and, and so far everybody's loved all the sessions. So uh, yeah, it's, it's great so far and it's almost over. So can't be that bad. <laughs> How long have you guys been doing this? This is the fifth year. So we did two years in Edmonton, two years in Olds, and this is the first year in Lethbridge at the college. I'm not sure what we're going to do for it for 2017, if it'll be in Lethbridge again or maybe back to Edmonton. We haven't quite figured that out yet. Yeah, you guys are a bit of a traveling road show this year. So. Yeah, I like to keep it interesting. <laughs> so where have you guys been this year so far? With Cano Lab, uh, they were in Saskatoon last week. We've got Lethbridge this week, and in two weeks they're in Brandon, Manitoba. And Brandon's doing a little bit different of a program than us. Um, but it's the same sort of thing. It's, uh, Cano Lab is really about that hands-on interactive learning in environment, which I think is really rare in the wintertime. Uh, in the winter, we tend to see uh, meetings or conferences, uh, that, that type of thing. So having some live plants and some really small sessions that are, that are interactive and hands-on, I think, is what makes Cano Lab so fun and so popular. Yeah, you've got live plants, you've got bugs, so what does it take to plan ahead <laughs> to get all this geared to go in the middle of winter? Uh, near the well, tail end of winter, I Near say. the tail, well, so um, the plants generally get started growing, some of them will start around October. Um, this year, like I could talk about for planning for 2017, we're already talking about 2017, the kinds of sessions that we want. We're always interested in input, so if any uh, viewers out there are interested in su suggesting some topics, then please pass them on. Um, but we're probably going to meet up at Canola Palooza in June and get a kind of a good handle on, on what we want to do. By September, we'll have a schedule and, and some plans for Sherry Benson, who grows at her plants at the Devonian Gardens, who's absolutely amazing. She's been growing plants for Canolab in Alberta and Saskatchewan for the past five years, and we really couldn't do it without her. She's, she's wonderful. And that's, um, you know, that knowing that she's growing the plants really makes the rest of our our jobs easier because we can handle the you know the speakers and and how the sessions are going to run and logistics of the buildings and things like that so it's it's definitely not a small uh, undertaking um but it's really fun and we get such good feedback that it would be really tough to justify stopping doing it i think yeah so nothing solidly cemented for next year no but i suspect it'll probably be around this time in 2017 maybe reading week um i imagine it'll be reading week because uh the colleges are just such good uh, they make such good locations. At Lethbridge College, we're over three floors and we have perfect lab classrooms um, for this and we have whatever equipment we need. So that's really nice and we'll see what we do for next year. But reading week, I know it's a little tough for some producers and some people with kids in school, but it's just, it works really well with the facility and having a good facility is really important for this event. It just makes our lives way easier, so. Well, that's an awesome event. Good to talk to you. I guess I'll see you next year. Sounds good. Take care.